the definition says Islamophobia is rooted in racism and is type of racism that targets expression yeah. of Muslimness and our perceived Muslimness. And I think we have to differentiate between the freedom of speech and freedom of hate and bigotry. The definition, it's clear. It doesn't say that you cannot criticize Islam, you cannot criticize uh, expression or parts of the faith. No, the freedom of speech is a dear value that needs to be protected and is part of our British way of life. But we have to make a clear distinction between freedom of spe speech and freedom of bigotry. What we are saying in this definition that is endorsed by Muslim Council of Wales, by many Muslim organizations and over 80 uh, academic. What, what they're mm. suggesting is that we need to tackle Islamophobia in its different forms that include the cultural forms, the so sociological forms and so on. Right. So when someone cannot get a job because of her name or his name, yeah, that's this is Islamophobia. That's already, out that's already outlawed. I wanted to, you, because you haven't answered my question, so I want to come back to it because the definition is that it's expressions of Islamophobia is about expressions of attacking expressions of Muslimness. So I come back again. If people attack the wearing of the niqab or other or, or, or the extension of Sharia law, is that Islamophobia? It is Islamophobia if you are spreading false information and misconception. No, no. It I is would, Islamophobia would, if you Islamophobia are... Is it Islamophobia to say that people should not wear what you're wearing? Is it or not? Islamophobia, it, it's if you are saying, if you are attacking me and saying that I am a letterbox and a bank robber, this is Islamophobia. If you are saying, you know what, I don't agree with your choice of wearing the face veil, I would protect your right to express it. But so it's the way we, that you say it.